The most popular series of videos on this channel is by far my Craftsman T210, now named the T2200 riding mower. Seeing that it's now the start of lawn cutting season, people are starting to ask more questions about the T210, the T2200, and also asking me how I store my riding mower. So I thought it might be easier to just show you. Everything that I use for lawn care goes inside a Rubbermaid Big Mac storage building I purchased this years ago to store Vespa scooters in. Now the safe place for my T210 and lined along the wall you can see my other Craftsman lawn and garden tools starting with this Craftsman V20 blower and you may instantly notice this isn't the blower I made a couple of videos on. That's because I upgraded, I filmed reviews on this and all the other stuff but that got lost in tech apocalypse. I've had this since early 2021. The reason I upgraded, the old one was 90 miles per hour, this 100 miles per hour, 350 CFM. It's also brushless, which will theoretically give this blower unit longer life. Also, the trigger control gives me more control, which is good, and that extra 10 miles per hour does make a difference. I mentioned the blower was part of a set, a combo deal, the blower and this string trimmer, also Craftsman V20. I believe this is their highest end model. It's also my least favorite Craftsman V20 item. It works, it does have some good features, like back here, the controls at the hand, I like those, and I like the brushless motor. That's nice and it seems powerful. However, when the head quits spinning, it retracts the line about an inch for some reason, and then you have to tap it to start it, which waistline that gets cut off when it comes out. And it's just not long enough. I don't know if my arms are freakishly proportioned to my body, but this is as far out as it goes, and it needs to be just about two to three inches longer. But I only paid a little over $100 for the blower and this weed trimmer, so I'll take it. More Craftsman, more V20 battery powered this chainsaw. Also an end of season clearance item. This is the V20 12 inch cordless chainsaw. Came with a 4 amp hour battery and runs for about 30 minutes of cutting with that battery. I use this a lot. My only complaint is that it will leak bar oil out of the cap if it's full and sitting upright. I parked my T210 right under it. Fortunately, I discovered this before I coated my mower seat with oil. So now I store it on its side, problem solved. That aside, I've been happy with this little chainsaw. It works well and I use it far more than I ever thought I would. My last Shed Craftsman V20 garden tool is this hedge trimmer. To keep a theme, I also bought this at an end of season clearance. Pricing, I paid around 100 bucks. I think they go for around 159. This works amazingly well and is a perfect size for me with its 22 inch trimming. I'm gonna call these blades or whatever. It came with a two amp hour battery. It runs best with a four amp hour to get everything that I need done. By the way, a 4 amp hour came with that string trimmer and the blower combo. All the Craftsman V20 items get used almost weekly in the spring and summer. The blower gets used practically year round. The mower also almost year round. It really only sits about two and a half months out of the year. I do have other items in the mower shed since we're in here. Might as well take a look at them like my air compressor. I use this every time I use the T210 to clean it diligently after each use. You may be asking why Mr. Craftsman Tool Lover bought a Husky. Well, there are a few key reasons. It's a 200 PSI, which is the highest that I could find at that price. It's also at least assembled in the USA. I like that. And at the time I was shopping for a 20 gallon upright compressor, there wasn't a Craftsman available at Lowe's and the one they had left over at Sears. They wanted a premium for that. This was then, and I think still is today, the highest PSI per dollar available. Connected to it, 25 feet of air hose I purchased off Amazon. This reaches the canopy under which I clean the mower after each and every use. Other shed items, many of which you've seen either here on Kev Central, this 2.5 gallon no spill gas can. This one labeled for two cycle oil. I use that whenever I have anything that I come across that's two cycle. This is my four stroke generator, the Sportsman Gen 1000i. I've reviewed this, I really need to crank this up. It hadn't been ran in quite a while. My main no spill gas can, I love these. and I think they're going on five years of use. This one gets the most use of the lot. It's my five gallon variant. Some people complain about them, but I've had no problems out of the three that I own. I can't say the same for the five gallon can next to it. This is, I believe, a Blitz brand with the absolute worst nozzle I've ever seen on a gas can. I cannot stand this thing. 
I only use it in case of emergencies when I need that extra little bit of gas. These next two are also backup cans, less than ideal nozzles, but better than the Blitz nozzle. It's nice to have the option to store almost 25 gallons of fuel should I ever need to fuel generators for an extended period. Which is where my other no spill gas can comes in handy, 1.25 gallons, the ideal companion for my small 1000i generator. I usually fill it and my 5 gallon no spill at the same time, I really like the 1.25 capacity. It's a perfect size for moving around and ease of use. One more thing about no spill though. Some people complain that the button is hard to press after they've been sitting up. I don't find it too hard to press. And on my Kev Central handle, I saw multiple people say you can't manipulate these because they don't have a rear handle. That's not true. Here you can see it does, and it doesn't leak even when I hold it vertically. Only when I press the button will fuel come out. I find it ironic that someone on my Kev Central channel called me a snowflake because I used one of these cans. Then they went on to complain about pressing a button, so I mean, who's the snowflake? And you're seeing how easy it is to use right here. I'm holding a camera with one hand, the fuel can, and the button with the other, not really having any problems. One last note about the shed, someone might ask about these hooks and shelves. These are Rubbermaid products specifically designed for the Big Mac storage sheds. They sell them on Amazon, I added them to my Christmas list. And that worked well. I have room for even more stuff now. Bonus footage and a couple of questions answered. I had someone contact me, said they had a Craftsman T210 that they really loved. Except for at max throttle, where it surged without the blades engaged, they wanted to know if that was normal if mine did it. Well, no it didn't. I've already responded, but I thought I would let them hear, just so they could listen to my engine, and here that is. No surging, and I hope this footage is of benefit. Gator blades, even neighbors are asking about these. I've already made a video about them. Here is springtime grass being cut, and you can see the left front side of the deck, the normal dust bowl creator, practically dust free, or dust free as a mower gets. And that's the only change I made, was swapping to gator blades, everything else is factory components. It made that much difference, and I think a nice good cut too. That's it for this video, my T210's coming up on its 3 year anniversary and 100 hours of use. I'll either be making 2 videos, a 3 year update, and the 100 hour service video, or if the timing is just right, maybe I'll combine them into one video. Comment below if you have any thoughts on this video or anything mentioned in it, and I'll see you next time.